Today is the feast of St. James, who has various bits added to his name. By tradition, he was called St. James the Less, but that doesn't seem very kind. So he's called St. James the Just, or St. James of Jerusalem, or St. James the brother of Jesus, just to distinguish him from the other one. It is pretty clear he was not the other one. There, there is a, another James you will have heard of in the, in the gospel, who is the brother of John, and they're both the sons of Zebedee. And they were the ones who were in the boat who ran away from their father and followed Jesus and left their father in the lurch, um, who then have a fairly active career in the Gospels and are able to even have a speaking part. This poor James doesn't ever get to do or say anything. It seems pretty clear they chose this reading for the Gospel today and, the, for that matter, the, the lengthy quotation from St. Paul simply because it mentions his name. It's kind of sad. What we do think we know, though, is that he ended up as a fairly prominent person in the, the, the broader sort of world of, of the church in Jerusalem. Somehow he ended up as first a leader of the church in Jerusalem and then as the leader of the church in Jerusalem. <clears throat> as the other flashier, more colorful followers of Jesus sort of scattered everywhere around the Mediterranean and by tradition as far as Persia and India and Ethiopia and who knows where else, James seems to have stayed in Jerusalem and led and organized the church. It was to James that Paul went when he returned from one of his missionary trips, or indeed probably more than one of his missionary trips, and James who advised him on how best to solidify the gains he had made. It was James who spoke up when Gentile Christians began to be more prominent in the church and more prevalent in the church saying that they should not have to follow all of the rules that Jew Jewish Christians did in order to be Christian. And that ends up the way that we live now. It's for that reason that I think, although the, the people who chose the gospel reading for this day did it just because it mentions the name James, by accident or maybe by divine providence stuck in there, I think is something that really is relevant to him, to the day, and to us. What struck me when I read it, getting ready for today, was that line, a prophet is not without honor except in his own country and in his own house. I think in some ways that's speaking to poor James and what he was trying to do, trying to be an organizer, trying to be the one who held things together. There is a kind of prophecy in that. And normally we think of prophecy as being criticism of the world and its conditions, but simply being the one who holds things together the one who makes sure that the, the, the sign-up sheets are put out and are adequately filled up is in a way also a form of, of exercising a form of prophecy, saying that in fact the way the kingdom of God will work will involve a certain level of organization. It will involve doing the boring stuff that makes it all work. It will involve being the one who holds the home front together so that those who go out and use themselves up in the service of the mission of God, the purposes of God, have some place to come back to and be refreshed. <clears throat> I think that was James. I think for many, many of us, the, the, the purpose of today, what we should see this as a feast day for, is the doers of sign-up sheets those who make sure that the flowers are arranged, those who make sure that the coffee is made, those who make sure that all those little jobs get done. So the saints of God who come here and to other places like here, millions of places like here, around the world and all through time, have that place to come back to, to be refreshed, to be renewed, to be ready to go out again. So St. James is our model, we who keep the lights on and keep the roof up, we who make sure the bulletins get printed, we who make sure that the committee meetings happen and the endless details of making sure that things continue to run happen, and who recognize in that our own prophetic work, our own statement to the world about what it means to be a community of believers. It continues to happen here and around the world is only by the grace of God and by the inspiration that is put into so many hearts. So today we thank God for St. James and for all those who continue to do what he did.
continue to make sure that places like this are here one more day, one more week, one more Sunday. Amen.